A black hole ejected from its own galaxy drags a procession of stars behind it. While looking through photos taken by the Hubble Space Telescope, a Yale astronomer came across a 200,000-year-old light year's bright streak. At first he thought it was a mistake. But after careful examination it turned out to be a procession of young stars trailing behind a supermassive black hole ejected from its own galaxy. Peter van Dockham from Yale University came across a strange streak in images from the Hubble telescope. After thorough research, it turned out to be 200,000 years long. A light year long plume of compressed gas in which stars are actively forming. This cosmic procession continues behind the black hole rushing through space. The description and results of the research were published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. The possibility that something like this could happen has been assumed for about 50 years. However, so far there has been a lack of evidence for this. Using the Hubble telescope, astronomers were observing the dwarf galaxy RCP-28, located some 7.5 billion light-years from Earth. When something unusual caught their attention, a bright, 200,000-meter-long galaxy light year streak. Using a spectroscope, scientists determined that it was a stream of young stars extending from the galaxy. Further research revealed that these stars follow a supermassive black hole. Researchers estimated that this black hole has a mass 20 million times greater than our Sun. The speed of its movement through interstellar space is truly dizzying. It is approximately 5.6 million kilometers per hour. That's about 4,500 times the speed of sound. If we had spacecraft that could move that fast, it would take us less than 14 minutes to reach the moon. However, it was not the black hole itself that surprised scientists the most, but a bright streak composed of compressed gas and young stars. Its length is approximately twice the width of the Milky Way. According to researchers, the streak points straight to the center of the galaxy, where a supermassive black hole would normally be located. Scientists admitted they had never seen anything like it before. Scientific discoveries so far confirm that large galaxies almost always have supermassive black holes in their centers. Jets of material, which can be observed as streaks of light, often shoot out from the vicinity of similar objects. Van Dockham and his team carefully examined the newly discovered streak and found that it did not have any of the characteristic features of jets. They become weaker the further away they are from the source of the emission, while the tail of a supermassive black hole becomes stronger as it moves away from it. Moreover, the jets are fan-shaped and the observed object forms a straight line. But what could have caused this black hole to leave its galaxy at all? Or was she pushed out of it in some way? According to scientists, it could have been caused by a rather unusual gravitational slingshot. According to astronomers, the most likely scenario is the interaction of three bodies. When three bodies of similar mass interact gravitationally, this does not lead to a stable configuration, 
but usually to the formation of a binary system and the ejection of the third body. This could mean that the runaway black hole discovered was once part of such a rare configuration of three similar objects. When two nearby black holes merged, the black hole was literally shot into interstellar space. Forever chemicals are capable of disrupting key biological processes. The world of medicine and science is increasingly drawing our attention to the fact that specific types of chemical compounds can be extremely dangerous to our health. This is about the so-called forever chemicals, i.e. compounds called PFAS. Recent research shows that these compounds can lead to changes in biological processes associated with a wide range of diseases. Forever chemicals are in polyfluoroalkyl substances, the so-called PFAS. These are completely man-made chemicals that are found in many everyday products. They can be found, for example, in food packaging or waterproof clothing. Unfortunately, the rate of their decomposition is extremely slow, which is why they were given the name, Eternal. They accumulate both in the natural environment and in human bodies. This means that most people have detectable levels in their own blood. Moreover, in the United States, for example, approximately 200 million people use drinking water whose PFAS content exceeds the limits set by the US in 2022. Environmental Protection Agency Standards the researchers decided to test the blood of 312 teenagers, participants of the study of Latino adolescents at risk, and 137 children who were in turn included in the Southern California Children's Health Study. Such a research group was deliberately chosen because, as we know, Young and sensitive bodies of children and adolescents are particularly exposed to the negative impact of these industrially produced chemicals. The research results turned out to be shocking. Various mixtures of PFAS, such as PFOS, PFHXS, PFHPS, PFOA and PFNA, were found in the blood of all tested people. Moreover, as many as 98% of them also had PFDA in their blood. What is important, however, is how the presence of all these chemicals in the blood affects the content of other chemical compounds that should be present in it under normal conditions. And here again we don't have good news. It turns out that a mixture of various types of PFAS affects how the human body metabolizes lipids and amino acids. But that's not all. Because they also influence the thyroid hormone balance, which is extremely important for our metabolism and the growth we ultimately achieve. Irregularities in this area in children may contribute to the development of diabetes, cardiovascular diseases and cancer. These studies only confirmed what other studies conducted earlier had also shown.
They showed that exposure to individual PFASs in childhood was associated with disorders in the metabolism of lipids and fatty acids. This, in turn, may lead to metabolic disorders and, again, cardiovascular diseases in adult life. In the context of the above information, the abandonment of the use of individual PFAS by producers is undoubtedly a positive signal. However, in the same context, general regulation of their use as a group of chemicals seems to be more than justified. The description and results of the research were published in the journal, Environmental Health Perspectives. How does photovoltaics work on cloudy days? Our knowledge in the field of renewable energy is constantly growing. Technology is also being developed that allows us to convert energy from the sun into electricity more and more effectively. Although more and more people decide to install a solar power plant in their home, its operation still raises many questions. Can weather prevent the proper functioning of photovoltaics? Do solar panels work properly when the sky remains cloudy? Solar energy is a stream of electromagnetic waves that are created during nuclear fusion taking place inside the sun and which reach the Earth's surface. Thanks to it, the most important biochemical transformations can occur on our planet, guaranteeing the creation of oxygen in the atmosphere and the development of life. Did you know that everyday plants on Earth process incomparably more solar energy than the entire human civilization consumes? They do this through the process of photosynthesis. Nature has mastered this art to perfection. Man also uses the sun to generate electricity and heat. Moreover, technological progress gives hope that thanks to the processing of solar radiation, we will one day be able to completely eliminate non-renewable sources. The most popular way to obtain electricity from sunlight is to install photovoltaics. This solution is gaining recognition among both entrepreneurs and private homeowners. More and more people around the world decide to install such a power plant. The photovoltaic installation includes photovoltaic cells that are connected into modules, a supporting structure, an inverter, a bidirectional counter and the necessary cabling. When sunlight reaches the surface of the modules, the so-called photovoltaic phenomenon. As a result, Solar energy is converted into electrical energy, which then goes to the inverter. This converts direct current into alternating current, ready to power electrical devices in your household or at your company's premises. Many people unfamiliar with photovoltaic technology believe in the myth that a home installation can only work in clear weather. It is worth noting that clouds cannot completely block electromagnetic waves from reaching the Earth. Therefore, photovoltaic panels work and produce energy regardless of the meteorological situation. However, the weather may affect the amount of energy obtained. When the sun hides behind the clouds, the installation captures less sunlight and produces less energy. 
It is estimated that it is about 10 to 25 percent less than in sunny weather. The only time when photovoltaics do not produce electricity is at night. The operation of the installation may also be disturbed by a layer of snow on the panels. Therefore, it is worth making sure that the snow has slid off the sloping surface of the panels and, if necessary, clearing the snow off them.